Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have two leather cases that we will take a look at and talk similarities, differences, pros and cons, which case should you choose? It's the apple leather case in the umber color and this Mujo full leather case in the color tan. This is them open. Let's take a look at them. So specification wise, this is an full grain, vegetably tanned leather, which is echo leather marked, which means they care about the environment. Great. Apple's leather case is specially tanned, whatever that means. So we can assume this is not vegetably tanned. They are different colors as you can see. But if, if this does what Mojo claims, which is get a good patina, then this color should be no more in a few weeks. Because really um, sweet vegetably tanned leather that's not heavily coated, like the apples, should get a nice patina of the sweat and dirt from your hands. Okay, so we can see that there's a little bit of a thickness difference. The Mojo case is just slightly thicker. So 1.15 millimeters compared to Apple's 1 centimeters, 1, 1 1.05 centimeters. So this is a tenth of a centimeter thicker. You can, I can feel it. And that gives the camera bump a less bump on the Mujo case. That's probably something you can see on the camera. That's good if you don't want it to protrude as much, but the overall feel of the case is that it is a little bit bulkier. And for a guy running a Pro Max phone, that's not really something you want. One thing I can note also is that the buttons on the Apple leather case is recessed more. So this, this protrudes more, so that's just something to know. Both have a perfectly fine microfiber. The Mojo case says that it's Japanese microfiber lining. I'm not sure if Apple's is Chinese then or whatever. But what you know from my previous videos is that Apple's leather cases are heavily coated. This module case hopefully isn't. It's hard to tell without abusing it completely. But it should get a patina. That's at least what, well, to be honest, Apple also claims their leather case will grow a, get a patina or grow a patina, whatever you say. But it does on the edges with this heavy coating, not anywhere else. A big difference as well is the camera protection ridge or is plastic on the Apple's leather case and it's fully covered in leather on the Mujo case, which is a nice touch. But if you place your phone down a lot and have it maybe in your jeans and it's rubbing a lot against something, I'm not sure how, how long this leather will hold up before it's worn through to the plastic frame. So I, I this in my opinion, this is a little bit more of a safe way to design the case. I mean, of course, when you put it down on something, it will wear hair here, down here, but that's part of the case that has a bigger surface area than just a corner of the camera protection ridge. So overall, both of these cases has pros and cons, of course, as with everything. Um, not sure which of these cases I would rather use. Let's put the phone in and see how snug they are because I have been struggling with the Apple leather cases in the past with one of the corners not really being as snug as the others. Let's start off with the Apple case. Okay, it goes in easy, easy enough. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But the top corners are really secure. The bottom left is, and the bottom right is, it's not really as secure. I'm not sure if you can see that, but with a quite easy push of the thumb, the case releases from the frame of the phone. 
yeah in, in a drop situation where you're dropping just like that i'm not sure even the most snug fit case will hold on to the phone but it's it just feels a little bit cheap and not the price like apple charges for these cases um otherwise this is a solid case and if you do my like alcohol patina procedure this case will look good as well and feel good because right now it just feel like plastic this doesn't feel much better currently but the the magic is what happens after two weeks and we'll see if that if the case will actually be used for two weeks by me or if i'm going to get something else because i'm not leaning towards any of these right now okay that is a snug fit whoa yeah that is not coming off easy that fit is so much better than apple's crap sorry apple um but you've ruined your saddle brown leather cases by going this way. And ever since the iPhone 12, the, the, the corners are not as secure as they should be. And this, this is, I'm not even sure if I can get my phone out of this. Yeah, and the, the color combination isn't really that great right now. I must admit that the umber looks better, but we have to imagine and believe and hope that this will get a patina after a month or two. And then we might end up with something, hopefully, as good looking as the old Saddle Brown cases. This is what we are aiming for, guys. This was pure patina. This has just been used, this case, and it's, it got this like amazing patina. A little bit of tearing as well. But there were ne never any fitment issues with these cases, even though the bottom was open. I think it has something to do with the, the round edges of the phone and it's a lot more to grip onto. But man, this feels like one solid piece with the phone. Like there's nothing in the world that could get it out, which is sad if I'm not going to keep it. I'm not sure. There are other alternatives. There are Ander cases and there are bullstrap cases. I've linked them and these in the description so you can take a look on their websites. I'm starting to like the way this feels. Hey, let's get the MagSafe wallet and see how that feels. We know it fits well on the other cases. Okay, it's it's not really as distinct as the Apple leather case, especially the orientation magnet down there. And this is this case without the phone in it. The phone uh, it, it's secure enough. It does feel a little bit more less strong than the Apple case. Especially in this. It could also be the friction of the case. Because they are of different manufacturers and different materials. This is something that you will just have to trust uh, me on because I cannot prove that it's more snug on the uh, Apple MagSafe case. I'll try the iPhone 12's case. And this is the patina we are trying to avoid by going over all the cases and forcing the patina on the cases and so on. Uh, this has overall just a more friction area because this case has been abused. It's secure enough, but it's a bit of it. The orientation magnet that sits sitting outside of the magnet ring is definitely stronger on the Apple's case. Okay, yeah. 
It wasn't as hard as I thought. But it will not come out by accident, that's for sure. Ah. Let's see on the just on the back of the phone. Yeah, it's secure enough, but slightly less less strong than on the Apple case. So I hope you've enjoyed this short review of these two uh, leather cases. And if you've made it this far, I'll give you a heads up. We are soon giving this case away. So uh, I'll just post a short video uh, just in a couple of days where I'll show this case and the instructions on how to win it. It's the usual, you know, subscribe, like, and comment, but not on this video. It will be in a separate video. Do not take attention of, of anything else. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.